Today I'm going to review my new Osprey day hiking backpack. I'm going to go into detail and show you the backpack and tell you why I chose this bag out of hundreds on the market. For a good two years now, I've been carrying the Gregory Jade 33 on the trail. And it has been a really great backpack, but it's a little bit bigger than what I need. So I've decided to downgrade it to a lower, smaller back. Some other features that I really appreciated about the bag was, first of all, it's a dark color. And I mean, it's dark plum purple. And I'm tired of the dirt. Let me show you real quick on my Gregory. You can see like the dirt buildup has gotten significant and I always feel like I don't want to look like hiker trash even if I am hiker trash <laughs> and anyone on trail will tell you the grime and the dirt builds up quickly I've actually washed this pack several times but now that let's look at the Osprey and pay more attention to it I like that it had another pocket and then a pocket with a mesh within a pocket I was lucky to see that it had the key holder so I can hold my keys or anything significant that I don't want to fall into the bottom of the pack. It has, of course, all the side pockets for water bottles on both sides. That was really nice. I also liked the loops on the zippers. That was convenient. And it has, of course, here's another uh, umbrella holder right here. That's very nice. And let's see what else it has. Oh, and my most treasured and valued feature are the pockets on the waist belt. I mean, this is an absolute must for me. I need to have the pockets in the front, especially when I'm doing 15, 20 mile days. I'm up to about 15 miles a day right now. And I really want something that's gonna hold up and be easy for me to access. I'm tired of having to dig through my large pack for things. And that's also what encouraged me to get the larger Gossamer Gear uh, shoulder strap. I guess they call it a pocket. I mean, I or pouch or whatnot, but yeah, it's a pouch. But uh, I really like this. I can keep my phone here and my charger in here, which I'm always reaching for every day on trail. When looking at all the different backpacks at REI, online, on YouTube, and all the other different resources you could think of, even at Amazon, I finally settled on this pack. I chose the Osprey Sirius 24 because I really liked all the different organizing pockets and features. So this one can expand a little bit or you can make the pocket smaller and put stuff in there. And I always carry a jacket with me so like a rainproof jacket so that was really nice and look at all of these little pockets that I can keep things in this one's waterproof and the pack does feel waterproof it's very nice very thick but it's not but it does come with a full rain cover down in the bottom of the pack and I thought that was really nice because I have been on trail and rain on heavily so it does have a full pack cover inside in the bottom. And at the end, I'll take that out and show it to you. I also liked that it came with like a little loop for your ice axe down here, even though I don't really go that far in during the winter months, I thought that was really handy. The backpack out also has this like trekking pole holder going on here. I mean, it's got so many features and it was really pricey, but I'll tell you what, it's worth it. I thought, you know what, I've been really hardcore hiking the last few years, and I've only had one pack, and it was time for me to split. So I now have my own day hiking and a separate Gossamer Gear Mariposa 60 liter for my backpacking. And what's great is I can always change this over because this is removable. So this will be a steady feature on my pack. And I even brought over the Gossamer Gear um, hands-free umbrella holder just because it's just really convenient and nice. 
and I really want to get to know the umbrella holder and make sure that it's something I like before I take it out backpacking. I really hate taking out gear backpacking and finding on trail that I don't like it and I don't want to carry it. And then I'm out on trail and I'm stuck with the weight for the duration of my trip. So that's something, you know, to be thoughtful about. Some other features that the backpack have that it didn't sell me on it, but I thought it was always nice is that you can do the water bladder inside and bring it out through here to access it. I actually don't use water bladders. I prefer the water bottles and just to filter things as I go, but that's a personal preference. A lot of people do use the water bladder. Now, another thing that did sell me on this was that it has the heavy airflow right through here i mean it's a huge mesh with a lot of space off your back and that's so nice i mean there's like probably about two inches three two and a half three inches back there give or take in some sections you know which really gives some really great airflow in your pack when you're hiking and i'm telling you i live in southern california the days get hot we live in a chaparral landscape and I mean, it's just sweating out here. It's hot. And that's something that I really needed. So now in closing, I told you that I would take out the rain cover and show you what it looked like and how it fit on, which I'm really excited about too to have. It is a little extra weight, but I can ditch it in the summer months and then just carry it in the winter. And I also like that it attaches to the pack so I don't have to worry about it getting lost. Simple. I mean, that's really all you need when you're out on trip.